This week on Focus Outdoors TV, we'll be joining host Dennis Foster as he takes us to Lake Sakakawea. Jason Feldner of Pertise Guide Service is going to be our guide for this trip, along with Sean Volk of Open Water Marine and Roger Neeson of Angler Quest Pontoons. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this episode as we are running out of Indian Hills Resort with some great weather and some even better walleye fishing. So stay tuned. I think you're really going to enjoy this episode. Driving rain, found John's out hitting on the liquor again. It wasn't too late, about half past ten, when he let loose with the cat dragged in. It was a Sunday. And then Mon came in, Mon when he tried to make me pay the rent. Said I ain't got no money for you, can I pay my way with these dancing shoes? Thought I was kidding. A smorgasbord to eat. Um, obviously, the schmelt population is huge right now. Thank you. 
Chris has a bunch of you're right. I can't catch them, I'll net them. What a great first day on the water in Lake Sakakawea. Now, as the day faded, we headed back to shore, and where we spent a last majority of our time off the water was at Indian Hills Resort. Nestled just west of Garrison, North Dakota, a nice little bay, Indian Hills Resort is the perfect retreat for fishermen and families alike. With cabins that range from just your simple, small little places to sleep, to large ones for family outings, to camping and RV spots, Indian Hills is the perfect place for your next getaway on Lake Sakakawea. Check them out at fishindianhills.com. You won't regret it. Midwest Gundog Kennels is your full-time gundog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gundog. We know it takes a well-trained gundog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gundog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gundog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. Make your next day on the water even better with Airwave Pedestal, the only air suspension system that can be custom adjusted to the weight of the rider. No unreliable springs, no oil-filled shocks to leak. Our patented design utilizes a two-stage suspension system to smooth out the roughest ride, a limiting travel to an industry-leading two inches. This boating season, enjoy your time on the water to the fullest. Find out how at airwavepedestal.com.
smelt, and I think what these fish do is they go up in that cold water, eat those smelt, and they come up shallow and digest food. That's why we're running a slow death. Something really small. You know, these fish get finicky when they got all these smelt to eat. And I just think it's something they can't, can't resist. So, it's a nice fish I'm doing for right? so, Let's get her on the tape and just see what it is for sure here. You got some 20, yeah. 20 24? Yeah, still on the subject of the camera, too. Yeah. 24 inches. Just shy of 24. Right at 24. Take a picture of him. I'm a guy. I want to look this because I got the shirt. I got it. Here. There's just a hole like that. I don't know why they do that. You ready? Okay. Nice fish. Little ones get big ones, like you said. Future 24. Double header. You're just staying down good.
Well, what a trip this is shaping up to be. A big thanks goes out to Jason Feldner so far of Purchise Guide Service for getting us on Lake Sakakawea out of Indian Hills Resort on what seems to be probably one of the best walleye bites we've experienced this season. You know, with COVID and everything taking place, we had limited options to where we could travel. And this is probably one of the most underrated fisheries in the Midwest. So stay tuned as I think you're gonna to wanna to follow along on our last day of fishing out here at Indian Hills on Lake Sakakawea. High Point Pet Foods presents Country Creations Dog Foods, offering quality nutrition for the life of your canine companion. To feel the fire of puppyhood into keeping the energy level high of an active young dog, optimizing the performance of the hard charging adult, or having a quality diet for your senior canine companion. Country Creations has you covered with their quality formulas. Get in touch with High Point Pet Foods today. Midwest Gundog Kennels is your full-time gundog training facility. For over 30 years, we have customized our training to fit each individual gundog. We know it takes a well-trained gundog to handle wild birds. Make every hunting trip a dream trip. Let Midwest Gundog Kennels put excitement back into your hunt of a lifetime. Midwest Gundog Kennels, where experience equals excellence. Sometimes during the hustle and bustle of a good bite and things are getting hectic in the boat, or pontoon I should say, the microphone doesn't always get remembered to be turned on. And in this instance, Roger hooked into a really nice walleye and had a great fight. And lo and behold, Jason came in with the net day to save the day and what a fish. This is just unbelievable. For those of you again that have never been to Lake Sakakawea, I would highly recommend it.
Well, I woke up early in the driving rain, found John's out hitting on the liquor again. It wasn't too late, about half past ten, when he let loose what the cat dragged in. It was a Sunday. And then Mon came in, Mon, when he tried to make me pay the rent. Said, I ain't got no money for you, can I pay my way with these dancing shoes? Thought I was kidding. Brother, brother, what you owe me, I can't count on anymore, till the police come and knock it on our door. We'll be burning down the house, tear it to the ground, burn it up, tear it down, burning down the house. Well, I spent some time in a backwoods town, ain't nothing to do, cause there ain't nothing around. Folks, Dennis Foster, Focus Outdoors Television, had the good fortune to get back on Sakakawea, which is the big body of water, major Missouri River impoundment, and with that being the first time I've been up here personally in probably 20 years, it's big water, it's new water, it can be confusing, you can never have enough information, had the good fortune to go out with guy Jason Feldner here, probably three and a half hours. You can see the results limited out through several back and uh, heck, we're, we're back in for lunchtime here. It kind of gives us a breakdown of what you're looking for. Well, that's the whole thing is, is being a guy who runs the water every day so we can see the changes happening. We can see the go from shallow and transition out to the 18, 20 foot, then 20, 20 to 30 feet. And that's the, that's the and that's what we get of fishing every day. You know, exactly. we're, we're in tune to what's going on with the lake. You know, this, we're in midsummer here now, so these fish tend to be in that 20 foot, uh, 35 foot of water. But then, then they'll throw you a curveball one day, and one day you'll slide up into eight foot and they'll be up there. So it's just, uh, it's all forks driven. And it's just, it's a constantly revolving door what these fish are doing. Right. I would imagine you probably network with some other guys to try to yeah, keep, keep on top total. of things. Seven yeah. Of total, so you know, and, and, and as an individual, you just can't, you can't do that. I mean, you no, can make a million so phone calls, you're not going to keep up with it. Probably another thing I'd like to add too is when people are in the boat with you, they're going to pick up little presentational oh, tips yeah. that you're doing on specific days and why you're doing it. 100%. You know, I had a couple that I took out here a couple days ago and they were here three days beforehand. They only caught like four fish. Well, they weren't even using the right presentation. Once I showed them what was doing and what depths we were going, they went up the next day and they were successful. Right. You know, that that's a very valid point, too. Even if you've got a good boat, you know how to run the boat, you're a great fisherman on your home waters, it does pay to hire a guide for a day or two on fresh water to get into the swing of the thing so you really know what you're doing. And you're going to make the best of your trip that way. 100%. It's, it's the cheapest investment you're ever going to have. Correct. Uh, another interesting thing is this is not the only body of water you guide on. No, we do Sakakawea. Uh, Devil's Lake, and then we always also do the Missouri River and Bismarck in the spring. Okay, so you've got three Big different three. options there, <laughs> yep. and, and obviously Devil's with the ice thing. I'm sure you're quite 100%. busy with that. Yeah. Out oh, here at the, uh, Lake Scott, we always stay in Indian Hills a lot. There are people here back in Devil's Lake. I've got houses and cabins of my own that I rent out to my cousin. Yeah, put in the together. Okay. Okay. How's the guy find you? Uh, PerchEyes.com or 701-351-1294. Perfect. Moral of the story is, you've got all this fancy equipment, it costs a lot of money, it costs a lot of money to get here and lodge and so forth. Don't be cheap. Take the time, hire a guide, pick up some tips. Thank you, sir.